the term branding, people use it interchangeably with logo design, identity design, or even sometimes typography. And maybe we need to set the record straight. I know you're the best person to tell us. What is branding? Yeah, so let's start with what branding isn't, because it's not a lot of things people say it is. It's not a logo. A logo is a very useful tool for a business, but it's not the brand. It's a symbol for the brand. A brand is not a product. So when people talk about this brand, buying this brand or that brand, they're really talking about buying one product or another product. The brand is not that. People say Say the brand is a promise the company makes to customers, and there's some truth in that. It does end up acting as a promise, but that's not what it is either. Advertising people like to say, well, it's the sum of all the impressions that a company makes on an audience. You know, if you're trying to sell a lot of impressions, I can see where that might be useful to you, but from a business's point of view, why do they want that? And none of those things are really what branding is. A brand is a result. It's a customer's gut feeling about a product, a service, or a company. It ends up in their heads, in their hearts. They take whatever raw materials you throw at them and they make something out of it. They're making it, they're creating it. And so in a sense, when you create a brand, you're not creating one brand, you're creating millions of brands, like however many customers or people in your audience. Uh -huh. Each one has a different brand of you. So a brand is like a reputation, right? So it's your business reputation and everyone's gonna be a little bit different about what that reputation is. And that's okay as long as you've got it corralled mostly where you want it and that it's beneficial to the company. We tend to look at companies from our point of view like this is something we're doing. We're telling a story, we're making a claim, we're making a pitch and that's what we do, but that's not what a brand is. A brand is the result of that. And if you don't start there, you don't know what you're doing. You think you know what you're doing, but you don't. From a designer's point of view, I mean, I always tended to be this way. It was my gut feeling about whether this is gonna work or not. And then I would sell it as hard as I could to get the client to sign off on it. From the client's point of view, they're going, well, it's a checklist. You know, I got the logo, I got the tagline, I got the ad campaign, check, check. And they think they're done. None of that's right. What's right is what happens in people's heads. What do we achieve? Like, what's the reputation that we've created through the products we're putting out, design of the products, the messaging we're putting out, the look and feel of them, our culture, how does that affect people, how our employees behave, how is that affecting our reputation? All that stuff counts, so it's a big world, and it actually takes in almost all of business. Not so much finance, but finance is involved too, because finance has to green light all these things. Almost everybody in a company is affecting the brand, doing something with the brand, doing it for the brand or hurting the brand. You gotta think of it that way.